Meghan Markle made a surprising comment about her daughter Lilibet during her visit to Nigeria, which one raw commentator has deemed as laughable. Meghan travelled to the African country last month with her husband, Prince Harry, the couple participated in several fundraising events, and took time to speak with children at a school in Abuja, supported by the Archwell Foundation. While at the Lightway Academy, Meghan delivered a speech and shared a surprising conversation she had with her daughter. Our daughter Lily, she's much, much tinier than you guys, Meghan began. She continued, she's about to turn three, and a few weeks ago she looked at me, and she would just see the reflection in my eyes, and she goes, Mama, I see me and you. Oh, now she was talking really literally, but I hung on to those words in a very different way, and I thought, yeah, I do see me and you. And you see me and you, Megan concluded. As I look around this room, I see myself in all of you as well. Royal commentator Maureen Callaghan found Megan's story absurd given how young Lilibet is. Speaking to GB News, she said, Meghan Markle tells this story with a straight face. She added, What's the point of this trip? She spent the whole time talking about herself. It's laughable. Maureen also hit out at Harry's behaviour at the event. She said, It's so laughable and further diminishes Harry in the eyes of the royals and the world. He's standing at attention as though he still holds his military honours and titles, as if he wasn't stripped of them when he left. I see me and you. Sounds like Meghan lifted the phrase from a best-selling children's book by Dr. Michelle Daly. This happens to be the title of a popular children's book by Dr. Daly. While the phrase is common enough that we can assume it's a coincidence, the context is remarkably similar. Children of colour seeing themselves in famous people. Meghan was trying to convey, hey, I'm like you. Just keep out of my 43% DNA test. There's speculation surrounding the possibility of Meghan Markle facing legal action for alleged plagiarism of Dr. Michelle Daly's children's book. The resemblance between Meghan's comments and the content of Daly's book has raised eyebrows, with some commentators suggesting that Markle may have lifted the concept without proper attribution. Plagiarism accusations, if proven true, could result in legal consequences for Markle, potentially tarnishing her reputation and leading to financial penalties. Every time Meghan Markle speaks or purses her lips, she spreads vile misinformation. In simple terms, she lies. Markle lacks originality. Narcissists like her don't know how to behave like regular human beings. So they mimic others that they admire. Due to her laziness and lack of intelligence, she steals ideas to make herself appear more accomplished than she truly is. Each time she talks about children, it's another strike against her credibility. She isn't involved with kids, isn't a parent, and can't even bother to craft convincing lies. This is typical behaviour of pathological liars. They hear an intriguing story and incorporate it into their own narrative, even shamelessly retelling it to the original storyteller as if it were their own. Dealing with her type can be incredibly frustrating. Meghan plagiarises everything from Catherine's fashion sense, though poorly executed, to Rihanna's shoes, from lines by authors to her attire in front of Nigerians to Diana's perfume, her entire existence seems borrowed from other people, stories or sources. The void within her is vast and dark, unfillable. Despite her usually slender appearance, there's something bloated and greedy about Meghan. She constantly desires other women's lives, husbands, styles, titles, careers and more.